blood libel about the settlers. And what did they say? They said um, that there's a huge increase in settler violence by Israeli settlers in Judea and Samaria against innocent, guileless Palestinians that do nothing wrong and they're just out in, you know, in the fields or whatever and planting their olive trees and uh, minding their own business. And then these mean settlers come up with, with guns and, and, you know, what was used and they shoot them or whatever and, and they're, they die and it's terrible and Israelis are evil. So that's that's the libel that came out. And I showed three months ago or two months ago, whenever it was, that how it works. So what happens is that you have anarchists um, who work for these European or American leftist funded NGOs in Judea and Samaria. Some of them are actually even Israeli anti-Semites. And a lot of them are people who are imported from abroad um, and they work with uh, the Palestinian Authority and with other Palestinian terrorist organizations. And what they do is they start riots um, and they start provocations, most importantly, in Israeli uh, communities in Judea and Samaria or at the gates of Israeli communities um, in order to provoke a response from Israeli uh, residents of those communities or the security uh, the security guards, uh, the first responders in the in those communities, and then they videotape it all, and they claim that they're being attacked by the people who they just provoked. And so, um, and then they send these videos, which they post on Facebook usually, to their friends who work in uh, Biden uh, Biden aligned NGOs in the United States. And so those NGOs then send the allegations against the Israelis to their friends in the State Department, first and foremost, Hadi Amar, who's in charge of U.S. policy towards the Palestinians and is, has a record of supporting Hamas and suicide bombings. So he's in charge of Biden administrations of Blinken's Palestinian uh, dossier. And then she, he gets the information, sends it to his friend Maher Bitar, who is uh, also um, an anti-Semite and anti-Israel um, activist from Georgetown University, he led BDS campaigns there, etc. cetera, he supports Palestinian terrorism, and he's the director for intelligence in the National Security Council. He prepares the president's daily intelligence briefing, so then you can go to him, and then it goes directly to Biden's uh, bloodstream through the daily uh, intelligence briefing that is pre that is presented to him by or prepared by Meyer Bitar and then presented by Jake Sullivan. So that's how it works. So you have these anarchists on the ground that work with the Palestinian Authority and other Palestinian terrorist organizations. They stage provocations against Israelis when Israelis uh, respond. Uh, they tape it. They post it on Facebook. They send it to their friends in America in these NGOs that are aligned with, like, Code Pink, uh, Palestinian, what is it called, um, Palestinian Solidarity Committee and others that are aligned then and working with the State Department. They send it to the State Department. The State Department sends it to the National Security Council. The National Security Council briefs the president. The president comes out and says, ah, Israeli settler violence. So in December, the uh, the the administration used these uh, claims uh, to issue a travel ban on settlers involved with settler violence. And there's no description of that, except that they're also against this two-state solution. So um, that language, uh, demonizing settlers for settler violence and their supporters, ended up being used in this executive order that Biden issued in on on February first, where he designated four four Israelis as subjected to U.S. sanctions because of their engagement in settler violence. And none of them are criminals. None of them have been indicted or char or or convicted of any crime, violent or otherwise, by the Israeli police. So they're not. So what are they? They're ranchers. They're ranchers. They own ranches in Judea and Samaria, and they herd goats and sheep, and um, they're subjected to constant um, uh, theft, you know, a pillaging of their livestock and attacks and assaults by Palestinian mobs who come out and then working with these NGOs, they, they allege that these shepherds, these ranchers who are defending themselves are actually attacking them. So these people just had all of their bank accounts frozen. Um, and, you know, obviously they and their families are not allowed to enter the United States. They have no due process. They have no way of me of facing their accusers, no nothing. And also Israelis who support them are subjected to the same sanctions so that they could see their bank accounts uh, taken and stuff like that. So 